Hello everybody, my name is James Davies and welcome to Photo Chat Vlog on YouTube. Now this is a film photography video about what's in my fridge and you can see my fridge here. Now this is not what food is in my fridge of course but as an analogue photographer that is someone who likes to take pictures on film I like to keep my film stored in the fridge because it keeps it at an even temperature which is supposed to make it last longer. Now obviously I do keep my food in the fridge too which means I need to keep my film in a box and this way my food doesn't get on the film and anything in the film box that's not happy with food doesn't get on what I eat. Now I'm reasonably confident that film is not infectious in any way so the box is really just to keep anything liquid off my film and most important of all, for me anyway, I keep this on the top shelf of the fridge which means that there is very little chance of anything dripping onto the box whilst it's in the fridge. There are going to be people who don't do film photography who think this is ridiculous of course uh, but it might be interesting to see what you think about that if that's your viewpoint anyway. Do leave a comment. Anyway, uh, first up, I can only fit so much stuff in this box so some films that can't fit in the box are here, outside the box. So here, and I have to apologise for these not being 100% in focus, we have a roll of Kodak BW400CN. That's a black and white chromogenic film, favourite of mine. We have a roll of Kodak Ektar 100, a very nice colour film. And these two are actually the same type of film. They are uh, Fuji Natura 1600 ASA film. That is a Japanese film that I got, surprisingly enough, uh, in Japan. Now if the film is not stored in its box, it doesn't usually have the date on it. Uh, so I'd be fairly confident that those two are out of date. I know I was in Japan in 2014 and I'm shooting this video on the first day of 2018. In fact all of these films have probably gone beyond the date that was on the box but they'll be perfectly okay for me for shooting with because I'm only an amateur and the results aren't crucial. Uh, if I was a wedding photographer I wouldn't use that out of date film but I'm not. So in the meantime we shall unclip the box and look at the rest of the film that's in the box. Although, I think, for ease of viewing, I'm going to get all the film out of the box and sort it into colour film and black and white film. Now the black and white films will include genuine silver based black and white film and also some chromogenic C41 based black and white films which are actually developed in colour chemistry. I think we've also got an extra roll of Natura 1600 there as well. So having been sorted into different piles, uh, let's quickly whiz through what we've got in the pile of black and white films. So this stuff is uh, very fresh, arista.edu film, which I think is marketed by Freestyle Photography from the USA, although the internet says it's made by Fomapan in the Czech Republic. I got this from a shop in the States in the summer, so it's been on a bit of a journey back and forth across the Atlantic. Uh, I'm looking forward to using it this year, 2018 in some shape or form. So we can put that back in the box. This stuff is Ferrania P30, a brand new type of film, although it's based on an old one from the 60s. I got this through the Ferrania Kickstarter and I've only shot one roll of that and I haven't even got it developed which is absolutely lame. I can't show you it yet. This is Agfa Photo APX, and where did I buy that? I bought three rolls of that in Rome in summer 2016. I shot a roll of it in Florence, and afterwards in the UK that summer in my Konica C35. And I shot a roll of it in Iceland in my Pentax SBO in February 2017. You can see the summer shots on Flickr, and I'm just getting the Iceland shots online as I make this video. We have got a roll of Kodak 100 T-Max. Again, I got that in the States. 
and it looks like I've got until March 2018 to use that, although you might not be able to see that on the camera. Finally, we've got some Fomapan Profiline Classic. Again, I got that in the States because I was in a camera shop and they were selling film. And I thought I'd better buy plenty of film. That stuff constitutes what is my genuine black and white stash. That is the silver-based film. It was one of my things to try and shoot more genuine black and white film in 2017. Although, to be honest, I didn't actually shoot a great deal of film all round. But this genuine silver-based black and white film, as far as I know, is very stable. So even though this stuff is all in date, it won't need to be looked after with any extreme measures other than being in the fridge. Of all of them, the most uncertain one, I guess, without being mean, is the Ferrania P30, because it's such a new film. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, but I'm absolutely certain that the Kodak T-Max, for example, will be fine for shooting for donkey's years to come, as long as it's been kept in the fridge, even if it wasn't kept in the fridge. I think I've, my experience has been that... Uh, Silver-based black and white film it is very, very stable. Now, there's still more black and white film to look at because this is six rolls of the legendary Kodak BW400CN, which is a film that has just given me so much pleasure over the years, and it isn't made anymore, and this is the last of my stash. Just look at that lovely packaging. Just looking at it makes me feel full of potential, which also probably makes me sound like a kind of sad person. Now... Looking at the dates on the boxes, uh, let's just be quite perfect about getting this all uh, lined up. I know I bought some of this in New Zealand, and I bought the rest of it in the UK at Boots, back when you could just go into Boots and buy this stuff. Now, you can still go into Boots and buy Ilford film and Lomo films, and I think some Fuji and Kodak films, and I intend to do that as well. But all these films expired in the year 2016, or at least the date on them was the year 2016, varying from February, March and June. Now, I'm not certain about the longevity of these chromogenic black and white films, based on the fact that in another tub, which I will show you in another video, I have some very different expired chromogenic film, a predecessor of this stuff called Black and White Plus, and that, well, I have to say, I did not have a good result shooting that when I tried using it. So I've got to be careful. I'll definitely try and shoot a roll of the BW400 this year and report back on what it's like. And I'm really hoping, because it's been stored in these boxes in the fridge, that there won't be any degradation at all. But you never know. So the rest of this stuff is colour film, and it's all what I'm going to call the legendary Poundland Agfa Vista Plus. Uh, the interesting thing about it is... Uh, there is one, actually two, three, actually four rolls of 36 exposure, but uh, Agfa Vista Plus. But it was this stuff that was the standard Poundland film. Now, sadly, all these close up shots are a little bit out of focus, and I should probably get a move on and shoot this stuff because it's getting a bit out of date but 200 ASA 24 exposures one pound a roll from Poundland it is the stuff for testing new cameras with and a film I like to use for half frame photography where you get half a frame so you get double the amount of pictures on a roll let's put all that back in the box Now this stuff, I found this stuff in the Milton Keynes Poundland. Although again in like, I don't know, bloody 2014. So I think that's all out of date as well. But it's been well stored in the fridge and I'd be perfectly happy to use this film. Now this is 400 Vista Plus, 24 exposures. But you didn't see the 400 ASA film as much as you did see the 200 ASA stuff. So that was quite rare. I guess that's why I've been keeping that. And this stuff, just because I have it, is that 200 uh, ASA Vista, but 36 exposure. So obviously that gives you a few more shots on a roll. And now the amazing stuff is, that's all gone in the box, and I can't get the lid on. 
because of the handle. That's got a little cutout that you have to have it exactly the right way around. So I've got this all wrong and I'm going to have to reload the box. So even though some of this is out of date, this is what I would call my freshest film. And if I was going on a trip that I wanted to do some nice photography on, with no freaky expired artefacts, then I would reach for this stuff first of all. In fact, that's why these ones aren't in their boxes, and they're just in the canisters. And that's because uh, I would have taken these on a trip to pack into my bag, and ended up not using them. And, oh look, I've got them all in the box. Isn't that cool? So that is what is in my fridge, in the legendary clippy box and lid. And it's nice to store it in there. Nice fresh film. And though I won't do it, I actually ought to shoot all that film this year. In the spirit of shooting film. In the meantime, it's back in the fridge with this lot. So as ever, if you like what you see, please feel free to hit the like button. And I would love it if you choose to subscribe to the channel. If you have a comment, please go ahead and leave one, and I will see you in the next episode of Photo Chat Vlog.